How's it going everyone and welcome back to LJ38. Today is the day the new Bamboo Lab H2S has been released. So uh, let's have a look at the specs and what the pricing is. Bamboo Lab H2S, your personal manufacturing hub. And looks pretty damn similar to the H2D, which we already knew from the leak. So um, let's watch this video first and then uh, keep going through specs. Okay, 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 okay. So it's not 340 cubes like we all thought. It's 340 by 320 by 340. Interesting. Cool. <laughs> the acting is poor, but anyway. <laughs> Very cool. 350 degree hot end. Nice. Pretty cool. Jeez, how long is this video? Three minutes. Okay, it just feels long. Okay, so it's a laser as well. Hmm. So essentially, it is literally just a single nozzle up. It is essentially just a single nozzle H2D. Yeah, right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's not done yet. Oh, is this just... Okay, okay. Okay, we don't need to watch the credits. All right, well, um, let's get into it. 23 sensors and three cameras. Cool. 65 degrees Celsius active heated chamber. Auto venting. 10 watt laser cutting. Up to 30% faster print speeds. And then the big fill volume. That is pretty cool, actually, when you're mixing multicolor 3D printing with laser cutting. That is... Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. Tell you what, the parts that they're showing off are very clean. Engineering filaments, yep. 350 degree hot end, 65 degree heat chamber. Sports all the filament lineup from PLA and PTG to PC and PPA. Awesome. Does look good. That is very cool. Parts. It's actually a cool looking handbag. <laughs> I'm being honest. 
20,000 checks per second. Hmm. I want to know more about these 23 sensors and three cameras. That's what I want to know. So vision system, AI driven real time monitoring, uh, clumping, spaghetti, purge shoot jamming. Live spatial alignment, allowing precise laser and cutting calibration. Okay. Feeding. Detect filament tangles and grinding wrists. Track filament mileage and spool usage. Yeah, that's cool. Buffer cutter and feeding pass, making sure every tool is in place. Yep, cool. Thermal control. Cool, cool, cool. And safety. Five flame sensors. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, cool, cool. Pre-flight checklist by AI. Checks for debris. Identifies build plate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do like that. I think it's a smart idea. Hundred twenty percent bigger than the Exxon Carbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know it's big. This is interesting because it is like a it's it's an A one head but different. It's kind of cool. I'm happy they stayed with the Zon. I really like the Zon of the A one. I want to know more about these nozzles and so forth. That's pretty cool. Six days, jeez. Air assist built in. Yep. Digital cutting. Yep. Yeah, we already went over this. Emergency stop button. Yep. Yeah, quick swap nozzle. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I do like this. Quite by design. All metal die cast body. Paddle with the AMS2 Pro and AMS HT. Yep. Yes, we know about Maker World. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, the pricing. Jeez. Right. That's cheaper than I expected. The H2S by itself is 1,899 Australian. And the combo is 2,299. Yeah, right. That's a decent price, you know. But, I mean, I know Bamboo Lab did recently um, reduce the the pricing of the X1 Carbon. I just want to see if they've really, uh, reduced it anymore. So let me just have a look. Is there anything else on this page? More specs or anything or what's included? I like to know. Okay, here we go. Can upgrade through laser upgrade kit. Yep. Same stuff. Hardened steel. Yep. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.8. Included 0.4. Yep. They have an unboxing video. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is quite a nice table, actually. I quite like this. Spool. Oh, they had an upgraded spool holder design. Can I? Yeah, right. So it's kind of like the A1s in a way. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now that we've taken a look at that, let's have a look at the uh, the X1. Has it been reduced even more or not? Right. So they're all conveniently out of stock. So either it's getting discontinued or they've done this so that you have to buy an H2S if you want one. 
like if you want to print it like a yeah because i was about to say like 17.99 for the combo as opposed to 22.99 18.99 for the printer alone 14.99 it's 400 dollars difference just between the printers jeez realistically in the grand scheme of things that's not a lot of difference it's really not it's really not i'm quite surprised but i i am wondering if now this is end of line based on the fact that it's all out of stock and it's pretty much there's not really a reason to go for it when you've got this at a pretty decent price point um yeah right <laughs> I'm a bit shocked. What is it, US? Fourteen ninety nine, twelve forty nine. Jesus, gosh! All right, fair play, Bamboo Lab. So it's a good price point, but I'm gonna be real. Is it worth it? Do people want this in 2025? Considering, I mean, Wonder Maker has the ZR Ultra that was successfully funded on Kickstarter coming out soon, and then. Snapmaker just had the U1 bloody blow up on Kickstarter. So is this printer still worth it? Like, yes, it's bigger. 340 by 320 by 340. The others are like 270 cubed or just above that. Uh, Cause Wonder Makers is just above that. Um, and I mean, there's less waste in the others and there's going to be heaps of waste here if you're doing multicolor 3D printing. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on whether you think this is a good price point, whether you're interested in it and whether you think it's actually, you know, still worth it when you've got alternatives now like the ZR Ultra and the uh, Snapmaker U1. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. And as always, happy printing.